trips into space on a Russian spacecraft or stock up and buy more than a million iPads or be rich for generations to come. You know, it feels like an early April Fool's joke, but there's a, a springtime snowflakes that are in our forecast. No kidding. Todd Gutner joining us now with his AccuWeather forecast. And Todd, snow and rain moving in, what, just after midnight tonight? <laughs> Jonathan, it's not a joke, but it's not a big deal either. And you know what? It's not even a deal at this point. It's just a few raindrops and a few snowflakes. This storm is pretty small, and most of the heavier precipitation is going to slide to our south. With that said, there'll be a little bit that moves in after midnight tonight, closer to tomorrow morning, and it won't exit until early in the afternoon. And a few spots south and west of the city, especially as you get closer to the Rhode Island border, could have a thin coating on the grass of snow or on the back deck. And as you get into elevated areas to the west, especially out near the Berkshires and the Connecticut line, there could be an inch or two of wet snow, slushy snow. And that's it, and it'll melt away by the end of the day. And we're in for a decent finish to the weekend, which I will talk about in a few minutes. Jonathan and Kate. Todd, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. It is a somber prom night on the South Shore. Tonight, as juniors from Silver Lake High School dance the night away, classmates hurt in a head-on crash with a school bus are battling serious injuries. Christina Hager is live in Randolph for us tonight. Christina, the school considered canceling tonight's dance. And Kate, as we talked with some of the students walking into the prom tonight, they said even they didn't want to go at first, but then they realized they do get comfort from being around each other. And they say their friends who are now in the hospital would want them to be here even as they're fighting for their lives. Get through together. It's not how they dreamed prom would be. Four Silver Lake Regional High classmates who were supposed to be here are missing. And to look at the wreckage they came out of, some say it's a miracle they survived. Three with injuries so serious, they left in med flight helicopters from their school's football field. Then, hours later, the junior prom. None of us wanted to go. Yeah. None of us did, but we're here for them. We felt it's best to have them together in a place where we know they'll all be, a controlled environment. Police say this red BMW full of juniors on the way to school crossed the yellow lines crashing into an empty school bus that had just dropped off a load of students. Officials say 16-year-old Monica Knight was the driver. Eliza Nantai, one of the passengers. The very morning of the dance that was designed to avoid this sort of tragedy, students had produced a prom video promoting driving safety. The staff had arranged for kids to meet at the school and leave in chartered buses. No one who organized this could have predicted this. We deal with adolescents. Um, adolescents uh, are still cooking. They're not fully grown yet. Um, and they make mistakes, and we all make mistakes. You just have to go on. If we stopped, it would make it worse. Well, the bus driver also went to the hospital but was not seriously injured. All four students in that car were. And we just heard from some Boston hospitals who tell us the two female passengers in that car are listed in critical condition. So a lot of emotions at play as the junior prom wraps up here. In Randolph, I'm Christina Hager, WBZ News. Kate, back to you. All right, a tough night. Christina, thank you. The I-Team was the first to break this story, and tonight the head of the Massachusetts